What's up guys, McKayer here alongside Ace. How's it going? And today we are going to do a Chivo breakdown of Splinter Cell Blacklist, a game coming out on the 20th. So here is the breakdown. Basically, boom, 100G right there. Complete the game on Perfectionalist difficulty. So uh, hopefully it won't be too hard uh, knowing the uh, Splinter Cell Conviction game. I played that on the hardest difficulty in co-op. And uh, it was my worst experience ever. <laughs> Didn't uh, like it too much. Well, the problem was I did. Let's just say this is an estimate. Twelve missions total. I did ten with one friend. They were the co-op missions on the hardest difficulty. Then I did two with another, and my hundred year po achievement did not pop for me. Oh, that's rough. Because they have to be all with the same person. Those are always rough. So let's hope they got their shit together and fixed that for this game. But uh. Here we go. I mean, just tactical style, a bunch of tactical style achievements. You got Panther, Assault, and uh, I forget what the other one was. Ghost. Ghost. Yep, and I saw a little bit of collectibles there, like hacking to 24 equipments, I believe. So, might need to be looking up some places to go hack stuff. But as we move on, just complete the campaign without killing anyone, as, and I missed it. As Sam Fisher. Thank you. The main character, and that achievement does not look fun. That's going to be tough. Play a whole campaign without killing anyone? like. Yeah, that's a. I don't maybe know how if long it was the game's Maybe on. if it was like not getting alerted. Yep, but the games are pretty so long. So you can be like stealthily, but just running through yep. a game? I don't know about that one. Yep. I don't, I don't know, that one looks so fun. And then uh, just a bunch of killing a certain amount of guy, throwing people in like dumpsters and hiding their bodies, and then saving hostages. There's an undetected one, good 10 Gs, but the other one that's worth like 50 is not killing anyone. Yep, and then we move <laughs> into the uh, co-op ones here, just to complete a co-op mission with a teammate. Hopefully mm -hmm. we'll be able to grind that one out, that doesn't sound too hard. Uh, um, I'll just have to drag you along. Yeah, I've honestly never even played a Splinter Cell <laughs> game, so it might be a little bit rough to get me into. I went back and I see how I'm just shooting lights, because I was... That was the easy part for me. Yeah, I mean, this was pretty <laughs> rough. I forgot all the controls. Just had to get a vid up. Another co-op right there. Interrogation. So I, I, if it was like the last one, there's a single-player campaign and a co-op campaign. Easy 5G right there. Shadow Net. And then there's a bunch of daily and weekly challenges. Yep, and there's also going to be a uh, new multiplayer thing that uh, you see there. Spies vs. Mercs that they just introduced to the game so basically it's the spies uh, going and trying to hack mercs equipment and data and stuff and the mercs are basically the people who try to uh, stop them from doing so so and I don't know I could introduce a good new element to the game I don't remember which spinner cell definitely a long one it wasn't conviction because it wasn't conviction but it had spies versus mercs but they've definitely re-upped it it's still the same gameplay style and kind of objective, but like just the movements and kind of the weapons and the, I think you can use different upgrades and stuff to help you defend and attack those hacking machines. So there's a bunch of achievements. So if you just hop into some multiplayer lobbies and just play and just give a look at these achievements, I mean, you already know them from the vid yep. and just go for each one. But uh, here we go into the secret achievements. Uh, there might be some possible spoilers, but they're mostly uh, story-related, like completed safe house and uh, completed insurgent stronghold, just story mission ones, not too difficult. Yep, not bad at all. So end of each mission, you'll be getting 10 Gs, which isn't too bad. Um, looks like 10 Gs for each one, and then I believe there's a 30 G or secret achievement coming up, but... These are just going to be all mission specific ones. Yep, so again, this game drops, uh, I guess it's tonight now. It's the 20th. 20th. Correct, yep. yep. Same as uh, Saints Row 4, which uh, we will be covering. So uh, if you got Saints Row 4, go ahead and check out that Chivo breakdown. But I mean, two good solid games coming out the 20th, and uh, should be some fun gameplay, you know? Yeah, I'm, I'm quite excited for it, but. Uh... Here we come up on the end of the video. This is the last uh, secret achievement, the 30 g -er. Boom, there it is. Completed all... Yeah, I don't know how to say that name. Uh, Coblins. Yeah. Let's just go <laughs> okay. with that.